Hey guys, today's tutorial is going to be on full face coverage makeup. I already did the smoky eye look in the previous video that I had posted. Um, today I'm just going to be focusing in on my face and I'm going in with the NYX setting spray. Um, it's a primer spray. I love it so much. And for foundation, I'm going to be going in with the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion Foundation. Oh my god, this foundation is so good. Um, I couldn't find my exact color, so what I did was I bought two colors in the neutral line and combined them together to get the perfect color for my skin. And uh, as far as a brush, I'm going to be going in with the Sigma Flat Buffing Brush. And oh my god, I love this brush so much for foundation. And it just leaves you like a nice, flawless, dewy finish. I don't know, I just love it so much. It's really, really good. So always make sure to blend, blend, blend that product in. And we are going for a nice dewy look today. So after I'm done blending this out, I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. This Beauty Blender I bought, I believe, for $6. And the Sephora Beauty Blender is about, I believe, $20. So, and this Beauty Blender is so much better than the Sephora Beauty Blender. I love it so much. And um, this just gives you a nice little dewy look after applying the foundation. Oh my god, I just love it. Um, it also blends out so perfectly and so flawlessly and just the little dewy look that you get after using it. Oh my god, I just love it so much. So if you can get your hands on this little bad boy, go to your Ulta, any type of uh, Walmart maybe carries these. Oh my god, you need to get it. It's Okay, so now I'm going to be going in with the IT Cosmetics Under Eye Concealer in the shade Light. And I'm going to be putting a little bit under my eyes. And this is going to be used as a concealer slash highlighter because it is so much lighter than my actual skin tone. And I'm going to be blending that out with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. And just make sure to always blend under that area as evenly as possible, just so that you don't have any fine lines or any cakiness. Just because the under eye area is very sensitive and it tends to crease a lot, so just make sure to blend everything out evenly. Okay, so now we're going to go in and set that under eye concealer, and I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Under Eye Translucent Powder. Actually, it's not really an under eye translucent powder, but that's what I use it for. It's just a basic translucent powder. You can use any translucent powder to do this, and this technique is called baking. We're just going to put a lot of that under our under eye area, and what that does is it allows the area to set and not crease whatsoever. So you have no fine lines when doing this. And then now we're gonna go in with the Kat Von D um, contouring palette. I'm going to use this shade to contour my cheekbone area and my forehead area. And this is another Dome Real Techniques brush and this is perfect for contouring.
Okay, so this looks a little crazy right now, but don't worry, we're going to blend all this out. Um, always make sure to have this area pretty dark when you want to do a defined contour, and it's just going to just give you really, really nice definition on your face, high cheekbones, and just makes your face look a lot skinnier and more defined. So yeah, just make sure to blend everything out. I'm going to be going in with two different brushes. First is my MAC 129 brush, and this is a, I believe, a blush brush, I want to say, but I use that just to blend a little bit, and then I'm going to be going in with my Bare Minerals powder brush after I'm done using this brush, and that just gives me the ultimate blend and no harsh lines, and I definitely love it, so that's why I do it all the time. And you see, you can start seeing now that it's starting to fade away a little bit and looks a little bit more natural. It still looks a little crazy, but it's going to look better once I go in with this brush. And now you can see that it looks a hell of a lot better and it looks more natural. And now I'm going to go under my under eye area and clean off the translucent powder that we had applied for the baking, baking technique. And um, the brush that I'm using is the Real Techniques powder brush, which is my baby. It's so soft and oh my god, I love it so much. You can apply any type of powder with this brush. I just love it, so you should try to check it out. It's really cheap. I believe it was eight dollars. Um, I got it at Walmart, and now I'm going to go in with the best highlighter ever. It's the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter, and this bad boy is bomb.com. It gives you that J Lo glow. I wish my camera can pick up the glowiness and the actual color of this highlight. Um, unfortunately, it didn't pick it up the way I wanted it to. You'll see now when it when it airs, but oh my god, it just looks so pretty. And I'm going to be using my Sigma highlighting brush. And um, I like this brush. It's okay. I mean, I use a stippling brush to apply my highlight at times, too. I'm still getting used to this brush. Um, but yeah, so you're just going to go ahead and apply that to the sides of your face where I just applied, the tops of your cheekbones, and in a little C shape around your eyebrow, and um, yeah, so just highlight away baby, highlight away. Okay, so this is the last part of our look, is this highlighting technique. You can use any type of lipstick, you can use a lip gloss, you can use a mauve color, you can use a naked nude color or you can use a nice vampy look to your lip, um, whatever your little heart desires. And uh, this is it. So please like, comment, and subscribe if you have any questions or if you guys want to see another tutorial in the future. For anything else, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to film. And um, yeah, so just show me some love and I'm just so happy to be doing this. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this full coverage, nice, sexy, sultry look. Bye, guys.